Tropical Depression 13 is centered several hundred miles east of the Leeward Islands. It could track near the Leeward Islands as a tropical storm with rain and gusty winds later Friday into Saturday. Watches have been issued in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. This system might approach the Bahamas, Florida and the Gulf of Mexico early next week. The intensity and track forecast for this system is highly uncertain when it approaches the U.S. It's too early to determine what, if any, impacts the U.S. mainland may see. Tropical Depression 13 could affect the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as a tropical storm with rain and gusty winds by this weekend. This system may then head toward Florida and the Gulf of Mexico early next week, possibly as a hurricane. However, its forecast intensity and track at that time are highly uncertain. Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico forecast Tropical Depression 13 is likely to move rather quickly to the west-northwest over the next few days on the southern periphery of a high-pressure system to its north. Tropical storm watches have been issued for parts of the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. This means tropical storm conditions are possible within the next 48 hours. Current watches and warnings A watch is issued when tropical storm or hurricane conditions are possible within 48 hours. A warning is issued when those conditions are expected within 36 hours. Rainfall and gusty winds from this system could reach parts of the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico by later Friday into Saturday. Locally heavy rainfall, regardless of the system's strength, is possible, which could trigger flash flooding. Rainfall totals of 1 to 3 inches are currently expected in the northern Leeward Islands. In Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, 3 to 6 inches of rain is expected, according to the National Hurricane Center. The National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. The NWS says there is a high risk of flash flooding, and mudslides in steep terrain this weekend. Last month, what eventually became Isaiah's dumped 6 to 12 inches of rain in parts of Puerto Rico, leading to significant flash flooding. Uncertain forecast ahead for the U.S. The National Hurricane Center forecast shows this system approaching Florida and the Gulf of Mexico as either a strong tropical storm or hurricane by early next week. However, this forecast is not as straightforward as it might seem and you can expect changes over the next several days. Warm sea surface temperatures and low to moderate wind shear are factors that favor the steady strengthening of this system through the weekend. However, one major hindrance that could batter the future tropical storm is possible land interaction with the higher terrain of Hispaniola and or Cuba.